Okay. I was just gonna go over what we have to do to uh, what we have to do to get our bee plow out, and then I'm gonna make something for it. So there's our bee plow, and it's on casters. I don't remember the company. I'm sure it's on it, but there's a company that makes these little dolly deals. It's got four wheels on it. Um, they work really good for a straight plow. The bee plow. It, it sits it up too high, so when I roll it up to my truck, I'll literally pull my truck in. I'm on concrete, so then I roll the plow up to it so I can keep my plow inside. It's back underneath the, the pallet rack. So, this is what we have to do. Obviously, bring the truck up to it and then you can roll this into it so if we could just do that it'd be great right let me make sure you're in frame it would be great if we could just do that well we can't do that because this sits too high so then what I do is I bring my mini skid in I didn't have stuff. 
difficult, but then you pull that around, and then you can pull the truck in and hook it up. I, I love boss plows. This thing's real dusty. I guess I need to put it on the truck and take it outside and, and blow it off. But um, anyways, we like our plow sitting inside. Um, this thing is probably, oh, it's a season and a half old. This will be the, the second that we bought it half season two years ago. So it's got all last year on it and a half a year before that. And as you can see, it's clean, no rust. I wash it all the time. We clean it. Um, anyways, but I would like to be able to just roll it out, roll it right up to the truck, not have to fire up my mini skid, grab a chain, hook it up. I want it to where my daughter can grab it if she needs to grab it. My wife can grab it if she needs to grab it. They can roll it out and they can roll it right to the truck, call it done. And Boss, they sell a caster kit. It's like 400 bucks. So if you want to buy the caster kit from, from Boss, I ain't gonna hate you for it. I'd, I'd love to have it, but it's 400 bucks. I have a welder. It doesn't take much of a weld to hold it anyways. So what I did, so I went to the tool and I bought some casters. I don't know if you can see the number there. 50610. I think these said 600 pounds a piece. They're three inch cast casters. Swivel, they swivel around. And with the, with the plow sitting on those, I mean, obviously we're closer to the ground now, but this will, this can rock up. But I'm basically just going to make it to where I put a piece of pipe right on the top of this. I'm going to drill a hole in it and we'll pin them on. And then that way, in theory, it ought to hold it three inches. I think I was three, three and a quarter inches lower than what it did on those. And if you have the plow sitting here, you're, you're right as rain. Uh, you don't have a problem, you know, doing, doing, you know, what you need to do. You can roll it up to it and it'll hook right to the truck. So my thought was, is even if these hold it up, you know, a half inch or something, shouldn't be a big deal. So there's my casters. And then I don't have any tubing. And that's probably too big because I would assume, I thought it was about the size. It looked like about one inch, which three quarter inch black pipe is a hair over one inch, like barely a hair. Well, it's barely a hair too much. So, I guess that won't work. I guess I need to get some pipe. That's what I get for not measuring it. Uh, hang on one second. I use this all the time. I needed some more anyway, so that's why I bought that and I figured it would work. All right, let me show you what we got going on here. So this, this will be our build. I think you can see this. So I just took some one inch round and it slides down into the hole. We're gonna weld it to there. Orientation probably doesn't matter. And then we're literally just gonna weld these through the holes to the casters. And then that way we'll be built like that. And then when you have the plow up, slide these into the hole and you just put that small linchpin in there and it holds it and then you let the plow down and you can roll the plow around so since I do not have my welding table done yet get all this over here grab something for a riser maybe there like I said I really don't think orientation is gonna matter a whole lot because it's gonna spin around and stuff like that I'm not super worried about you know fixturing it getting crazy I don't want the pull the words way crazy or nothing but I 
This is why a welding table would be nice if I had it finished. I don't. Well, and I do have another welding table. It's in there. We won't speak of it. We, I don't know what really happened to it. I don't know if we welded it and never noticed it and got a belly in it or whatnot, but it's got kind of a weird spot in it. Yes, I know it's hot. Had gloves on. Still a little warm. And that's the finished product. Slide it in the hole. Linchpin. She should be good. Um, let's, uh, we'll grab it with the mini skid. Let me move. Let me move the camera. Kind of like to get it in there and just make sure everything is copacetic. Camera's about to die. Great. All right, sorry, camera died. So there's our finished product. And as you can see, it holds it off the deck. Not too far tall. I mean, it may be three quarters of an inch or inch off. I don't know how much wears on that blade, so I didn't want to put it right on the floor. But to me, that works pretty good. All right, time to try it.
Casters are on. We are let's sort of reveal out here. Much, much less than what we had before. Um, that's an inch or so off the ground. Let's see how she rolls around. Let's put you back on the on the tripod. You guys can watch me put it back in the hole and see. If it seems like it's easier or not. Let's see. Oh wow, that's, that's a noticeable difference. I mean, it does want to teeter. So I don't know, maybe, maybe if I take, cause I know the boss one, it only has one caster in the center and then it has two on the outside. So I guess, kind of ride better um, this is what I had I mean probably in here the wheels are getting pretty banged up super small this worked really really good for our straight plow I had an eight foot boss straight plow these worked real good they sat at the right height it seemed like um, the only time they really didn't work that well was um, was when the the cutting edge got worn all the way down it didn't seem like it wanted to work real well but they set different so you didn't have the entire cutting edge sitting on these you had it one of these on each edge and then you had the the kickstand here so you could set your height of the kickstand well these make this sit so high this doesn't have a kickstand you know but i would think see i think that if i space those up in the front see how that kind of teeters i don't know if you can see that so if i've got i'll look and see if i have some skid shoe spacers 
and we'll put a couple of spacers underneath the centers and then that way it'll hold it down you know it'll kind of push it down if you will it'll raise that up and kind of put some of the the force on the back wheels but this thing rolls really nice i mean it's a pretty heavy plow it takes a little bit to get rolling but um it, sh it shouldn't be as susceptible to uh small rocks and stuff like it was before but I don't know if I'm still in frame. And the nice thing is The nice part about it is, see with these little things I had on there before, it would hit a rock. And I was always afraid that the thing was going to skip off and land on my feet, let alone when my daughter did it. Well, with it being captured like that, uh, you know, if you're pushing it around, you happen to have your foot underneath here, it's a lot safer. It's not going to sit there and pop you. So you can kind of see that caster floating. It's basically riding on the centers. So I think if we shim those, I'll see if I, I think I've got, you know, a stack of the washers. Anyways, but if you're looking to, to store your, uh, your Boss DXT V-Plow and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on their caster kit, that's a functional option. Like I said, um, we were really high before, probably two and a half, three inches too high to fit onto the truck. I would imagine this would work, and if not... Uh, shimming those centers, you know, getting it to where you're, you're loading it back this way is going to bring the back down.